nobody had ever brought up anything about this. It was a rude awakening, so to speak. He checked it out and immediately sent me across the street to an oncology group, and they immediately rushed me down to get an MRI and said, you've got uh, stage four lung cancer that's in your, in your right lung and has metastasized. You could have hit me in the head with a baseball bat, and I don't think it would shock me any worse. I was diagnosed with mesothelioma. I think because I was so healthy prior to this, it just stunned everybody, it stunned us all. Honestly, I did not know what I had. I didn't know if I had cancer or not. So Neethi was 10 years old. She came home every night after swim practice with excruciating pain in her shins. No sleep because it would always hit at night. Nothing seemed to solve it. The pain just would not go away. When I was first diagnosed, I felt like I saw an abyss. I have to let it go. It's there, it's not going away, but don't feed into it. You know, that only makes this whole experience worse. Discovered that there hadn't been any new treatments for many, 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 many years for mesothelioma. And I just wasn't gonna stand for that. I started off on uh, some chemotherapy and then that segued into immunotherapy. It worked for a while and then that uh, also sort of came to a stop. Uh, they suggested that I go up and talk to the guys in the clinical trial department. We went another year, and things seemed to be stable for a little while, and then the tumor started to grow again. When I started out as a uh, physician, most patients with cancer were in a tough spot. The reality for a cancer patient has dramatically changed. Uh, now, almost every patient with cancer has hope of improvement, and that's really because science has worked hand-in-hand -hand with physicians to change that. When I found out that I was diagnosed with cancer, kind of lost it there. And then I was doing a lot of crying. And when you have cancer, you know, it's, you don't turn it back. But Dr. Duster came in and talked to me, telling me about the uh, trial. Finally got on this clinical trial that I'm on now. It's been a wonderful treatment for me. Within, I'm gonna say three months, the tumors all started to shrink. Three of them are almost non-existent and the huge one that I had that was laying on my liver is probably a quarter of the size. My myeloma was returning at a high prodigious rate. It looked like uh, we were losing the battles. After having received multiple lines of treatment, he was qualified to go on the CAR-T study. He was treated, he responded. The rest of the body myeloma was completely gone, but he has remained in remission without requiring any other treatment currently. Clinical research gives patients opportunities to try novel therapies. And in Patricia's case, the Garnett trial gave her the opportunity to have a therapy that she wouldn't otherwise have had access to with a really good quality of life and some really good time with her family. The investment of society, and particularly the investment of American taxpayers in medical research has led to modern medicine as we see it today. In our field of cancer research, the investment made by the National Cancer Institute in funding scientists and physicians to fight cancer has led to targeted therapies, to the immunotherapies, to new ways to approach cancer patients in the clinic. I obviously am a big fan of cancer research at this point because without the cancer research that's been going on, particularly in the CAR-T realm, I probably would not be talking to you today. I've been blessed to live three years like I have. As long as we can keep funding research and keep moving forward, what I've gone through shows that there's, there's hope. I think the importance of any type of research or trials for people like me, I just can't tell you what a significant impact it's had on my life. She was the second to get this type of treatment. I would absolutely, absolutely 100% push Congress, push everybody getting funding for research. Without research, I don't think we would be where we are today.